All right, so uh, this is going to demonstrate the tilt test. So what we're going to do here is we're going to initially check out and ensure that the motors and the entire system is wired correctly and reacts as we expect it to. So, of course, the first thing we're going to do on the transmitter is hold down and right. Okay, so now we should be armed. We'll check it by giving it throttle. All the motors spin. So bring them down to where they just barely spin. And then as I drop the low arm, whatever arm is tilted low spins faster. And as you can see, if you follow this test, this will ensure that the motors are wired correctly. Now what's possible to happen is that I simply unplug the wires here at the APM. Let's say if I wire them incorrectly. So I'm purposely going to wire two of the motors incorrectly. And now, if I again do the exact same test, now as I go around the circle, you're going to notice that I now have them swapped. So now, this motor, when the arm is low, no longer spins fast, right? It's a different arm. So that's how you detect the air, and basically all you have to do is, is correctly wire it so that when you drew the drop test all the way around, they ensure every low arm, when it's low, actually speeds up the motor. This indicates that the APM is trying to auto-stabilize the system and will actually fly right. If you cannot pass this test, you should not put the props on and fly. Because what it means is you've miswired something, and as soon as you get this thing in the air, it's going to try to flip over.